Hi, and welcome everyone. A great big thank you to all the support that you've given to this channel. Over the years, we're approaching five years of research, and those are chemtrails. So I was pretty lucky to be able to get one good day of the moon, which we're going to review some footage for the next couple of days because there's a lot of footage I caught. And don't worry, we're, we're going to stick around with the UFO footage. Now, the, the UFO you're going to see fly by in this image is a bird, by the way. By slowing down the footage, your birds will become rods and look like you know, cigar-shaped ob objects. It's very easy for someone to pretend that they're UFOs. Uh, I had a couple people on the French channel uh, tell me they were UFOs. I said, no, it's a bird slowed down. So I'm trying to be as honest as, as I can. So even look at this, the Terminator line, always, always nice. I get a lot of you that tell me um, about the, the, you all ask me questions about why we are seeing blue on the edge of the moon. Well, quite simply, the light is bending itself around the edge, an optical illusion, obviously. But, 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 who's saying there's no atmosphere around the moon? Obviously, a blue sky. This is daytime um, footage. Let me descend the exposure. And I'm going to show you what it looks like with the exposure descended in the middle of the afternoon. And then we're going to change angles and get in really close. This is done with a straight up with a simple camera. That's all you need to find some truth is a simple camera. So this is daytime. What do you think of it? Not bad, eh? And you see how you can differentiate the lights, each of them on the surface and where there's more lights. Look at the oscillating movement, much like here over Montreal or a big city, Toronto, or whatever big city. These objects that are together in formation and actual, we're not going to hide it. It's a triangular formation. Some people tell me, I don't see what's going by. Well, you must have a small, small screen because, I mean, there's nothing hard to see there. The, the thing is, it's unpleasant to see that it's not a spaceship like Star Trek. What do you want me to tell you? That's lights going by in formations, which is pretty, you know, it is pretty odd. Um, I found some structures, a setup in a large crater on the surface, and that is definitely something we're going to go see, new findings. And at the same time, this is um, hours away from the super moon. There was a small part missing from the end of the moon for it to be a super moonish but I prefer it this way because we get, again, that Terminator line helps me and it helps elevate the surface. If not, we don't see much elevation. So thanks for watching. Look at that towering object. What do you think of that? Watch this, a line leaving Aristarchus Crater. It runs for a hundred miles or a hundred kilometers, more than a hundred kilometers. And it goes to another light source, an area where there's more billowing light. Again, look at that mysterious object. Let's just say, let's leave it at that and call it quite simply a mysterious object. I really hold a grudge for some of you though. Some of you trolls who you yourselves are actually looking for truth, right? Um, what I'm showing and trying to expose is also hurting you and has hurt your family from generations, um, past generations and whatnot. I'm trying to show a truth um, and it's something that is absolutely out of this world. To imagine that there could be a life on another celestial object Asides from Earth is absolutely mind blowing. So, the, the proof that I'm sharing is reaching many people in the world. But it's just that right now, with the agenda, ladies and gents, if I can still call you that, I'm, I'm serious. Everything that's going on right now, people are not preoccupied about what I'm showing on the moon. But in reality, for whatever the reason, Everyone in this bloody world is mind controlled to following what the system says and to believing what the system says. You're all 
waiting for your bloody news, your local news, to tell you what's going on on the moon, and it's not going to happen. I know still some are not going to understand what I'm saying, but quite clearly, there's a difference between applying laws to um, a system and there's a difference with uh, the laws and their opinions. So now the government's opinions are being uh, tangled up in parts of the laws. But don't forget, we still get last dibs on the choice. Law is law, but opinions are opinions. And if you were labeled racist like I was in the past few months, don't worry about it. The word racist in a couple of months won't even exist anymore. It won't have a value because they're destroying it. So what they are doing, they are weaponizing words, making racist racism a wholly taboo subject and causing the good people not to want to be racist and not talk about it. Right. Let's descend the exposure of this area where we saw something in the crater and now it's too dark and we can't see it. But that's because I'm going to advance towards the edge and as it gets brighter, we will slowly see those lights appearing inside. Look carefully, there's a whole lot of different areas where there's movement of lights, billowing lights, and right there inside of the crater. You can see it very, very well. Well, I promised everyone I'd get this up between the streams, but I did a three hour stream. <clears throat> Guys, I found a structure, several structures. I'm serious, inside of the big crater on the bottom there, right in the center of the circle, there's a square on the higher ledge or ridge and a tunnel or, or a winding object goes down to another lit object. Look carefully. I'll get the arrow up to where that line is leaving up out of the surface. It looks just like a refinery and it goes to square objects on top right there, a whole bunch of objects together. The moon is filled with all these, um, these little clips of proof and signs of proof and you have to really look and slow it down. And I, you, I don't know if you realize it, we're pretty close right now. Here too, Posidonius, and all on the bottom, you see 90 degree angles, lines and bumps one beside the other. There's, there's lots of details here. I just wanted to show this corner and also um, a similar part, it looks like Earth. Now, depending on your monitor, the colors are different. I'm, I reassure you, uh, you this, um, I'm, I'm seeing greenery and purples up in the craters and some browns. Maybe you're seeing blues because somebody was asking me what's all the the blues and I there was none at that moment like right now I see a lot of blue hey look at this is Kepler crater isn't that incredible in the center the spider web like object look at all the lights leading out all the crater uh, the craters that are following each other in, uh, from Kepler towards of course Aristarchus on the top it's ridiculous as blues become greens and greens become blues, except certain areas, why? We can see green around Aristarchus Crater, as you'll see here in Kepler, but why always blue? Beside Copernicus, never green. I'll tell you why, because it's not refraction, right? But again, depending on the sunlight, greens can look blue and blues can look green. Green and blues can look black grays can look dark gray or black there's all these different tints um, and as we progress through 
different times of the moon phase we can see different colors on the surface as i'm analyzing all the time try to understand them more and more here's copernicus Beautiful Kepler crater. It looks like a spider web. It reminds me always of the spider web. And again, the lights following each other because it was a planned meteor strike or something, right? If that was possible. And of course, Aristarchus over to the top right there, seeing the beautiful colors that are there. Now, listen, the brown's there. It's not refraction. Neither is the blue and the green that you're seeing right here on the surface because it's always there. So if it's not refraction, what is it if it's not vegetation? Minerals? Who knows? It's something. Look at this funny guy I want to share with you. Hey, everyone. Tell you what. Um, the fact that the moon is inhabited, I believe, and everything that I'm finding on it is not going to come out in any um, disclosure, I believe. Because the moon is something that's probably going to remain hidden for a long time. Disclosure will come from people who are going to leak disclosure. It's not going to come from the government. There really is someone on the moon or definitely somebody visiting either the recent or ancient structures. Aliens on the moon, they touch mud and they are best in the Cause the slow just coming soon. The slow just coming. 